Hey, Sean Hatzel here with Get Lean in 12. And if you're scrolling through your feed and you see this, stop by, say hi. Let us know your name and where you're from in the comment section. Because inside this video, I'm going to simplify your fat loss. And I put together a meal plan that you can use, a simple meal plan. That is the key because so many people are confused when it comes to how to structure their meals. The portion control, the timing, the combinations, these are all the things that are going to help keep the body in a fat burning environment. So I'm going to show you a simple meal plan to help you quickly lose belly fat. I am also going to introduce you to a system called the Over 40 Absolution. And you'll learn about that at the link above or beside this video in a 12 minute metabolic movement pattern that's specifically designed for the hormonal condition of people over 35 years old. So if you're in your 40s, 50s, or 60s, you're gonna to wanna to stop and pay close attention because this information can change your life and it's gonna teach you a simple and easy way to quickly lose more belly fat. You'll also learn all about my wife's amazing story. She's 57 years old and when we first met, she was diagnosed with colorectal cancer and she was forced into early menopause. So she accumulated a ton of upper belly fat and the 12 minute metabolic movement pattern that I'm gonna introduce you to is what she used to flatten, help flatten her belly. It's also the same movement pattern that I've used for over 10 years now to maintain around 10% body fat or lower. Now, if you're watching this, you're not familiar with me, I'm a stubborn fat expert. I'm also a 46 year old grandfather to four beautiful grandkids. And this 12 minute metabolic, metabolic movement pattern and this meal plan up here is how my wife and I look years younger than our real age. Most people freak out when they hear we're grandparents. So let's dive into this plan. Let me, let me do a quick summary for you. First, there are six simple rules you're gonna follow and I'm gonna cover those in a second. Then I'm gonna show you exactly how to combine your meals in the morning, pre-workout, post-workout, and in the evening, and I have a food code system over here I'm gonna teach you about. And then I'm also gonna talk about three exercises you must avoid or you should avoid if you're over 35 years old. So first of all, let's talk about the six simple rules. The first rule is to try to fast for 12 to 16 hours about at least four or five days of the week. And the reason that you wanna do this is because number one, it helps you stabilize insulin. Insulin is the body's number one storage hormone. And what can happen is when you spike insulin levels, the, it can take the body out of a fat burning environment. So the second thing this will do is it helps increase, uh, control your hunger hormone and increase growth hormone and boost metabolic rate. Now, I'm not just saying this or making, making up this stuff. What I'm gonna do is right above this video, you're gonna see all the references backing up the claims that I'm making in this video. Also, I know sometimes in these live videos, it's kind of hard to see this. So I'm gonna take an image shot of this and I'm gonna post it in the comments section so you can save it to your device and have a copy of it handy so you can use it to help you quickly lose more belly fat. So simply by fasting for 12 to 16 hours, you get a ton of health benefits. And what ends up happening is, for example, if your last meal, let's say, is at 9 p.m., you would go ahead and not eat breakfast the next day until between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. And what this does is it sends your sympathetic nervous system skyrocketing. And when, when you kick up your sympathetic nervous system, this is your body's fight or flight response. It forces your body to increase the metabolism and release the hormones that can help burn more belly fat. And research also shows, which I'll post above this video, that fasting actually boosts the metabolism. Most people think that they, if they don't eat every two to three hours, the metabolic rate is gonna slow down. In fact, the exact opposite happens. One study showed that people who fasted for 48 hours, which I would never recommend, actually boosted their metabolic rate over 10%. So don't worry about losing muscle or your metabolism slowing down when you try to fast for 12 to 16 hours a few days of the week. Step number two is simply don't eat two hours before bed. And there's two reasons for this. The first thing is that every time you eat, insulin levels are elevated. And this can take the body out of an environment where it can access fat as a fuel source. So by eating two hours before bed, it allows insulin to stabilize so that when you go to sleep, your body is more likely to be in a fat burning environment and the second reason is research shows that insulin can actually be the antagonist to the body releasing growth hormone. So by waiting two hours after a meal and allowing insulin to stabilize, now you're more likely to secrete growth hormone while you sleep and recover. The third thing is to drink at least eight glasses of water daily. And I know this is 
old advice that's been around forever, but water is the metabolic catalyst that can help the body with all its processes. So it's very important. Remember, the more water you give the body, the less it will hold onto, so it can make the body look leaner. So if, if you're an intense exerciser and you sweat a lot, you're definitely gonna need more than this, but at a minimum, make sure you're drinking eight glasses of water daily. Number four is to never eat impact carbs all by themselves because these are the foods that will send insulin soaring higher and faster than other foods. When I say impact carbs, I'm talking about starchy carbohydrates and certain ripe fruits like bananas that have a lot of sugar in them. The key to this is to use the combinations that I'm gonna share with you down here that keep, helps keep the body in an environment where it can more easily access fat cells as a fuel source. So for example, if you eat a ripe banana, this is a healthy choice, but it's loaded with natural sugars. So it could potentially take the body out of a fat burning environment. Number five, eat your largest serving of carbs after exercise. See, after you're done using the metabolic movement patterns that I'm going to share with you inside our system that you'll see at the link somewhere around this video, what ends up happening is the muscles are like a sponge and they've been depleted of energy and they want to suck up nutrients, especially from carbohydrates. So what ends up happening is when you eat your largest carb serving of the day after exercise, the body is going to absorb that into muscle tissue and into liver tissue and it's going to prevent fat spill. The sixth rule is always try to eat a high quality protein in every single meal. Research shows, and again, I'll post it above this video, that people who eat more protein lose more weight than those who don't. It's also been shown to boost metabolic rate and reduce hunger and cravings, and, and also makes fat loss more enjoyable. So now that you understand these six simple rules, let's talk about how to put this all together into a simple meal plan to help you get faster results. So in the AM, whether it's after you fasted for 12 to 16 hours, or if you're not a fan of fasting, you can still get great results. It's just a trick that you can use. You're gonna to wanna to keep your carb servings low. So you'll notice here, my food code over here shows P for protein, S for starch, F for fruit, not fat, V for veggies, and O for oil and fat. So just make sure you don't mistake the F for fats. It's always gonna be fruit and the O is gonna be oil. So think oil and friendly fat when you think O. So in the end, you'll notice there's no starches and there's no fruits. Now, small amounts of fruits can be okay. But my recommendation is if you wanna keep the body in a fat burning environment, I say skip the fruit and save it for before and after exercise. So protein plus an oil or protein plus a veggie. So an omelet cooked in coconut oil or grass fed butter. Is one good choice. Another choice, if you're in a hurry or on the go, you could use a protein shake and grab some veggies to munch on on the side. Or you could go ahead and have some lean uh, animal protein if you want, meat, for example. So uh, chicken breast, turkey breast, uh, any type of fowl, any type of game, okay? And it doesn't matter whether you use an oil or a vegetable. So any type of vegetable, you just have to be conscious of the vegetables that are higher in carbs. Peas, carrots, corn, but any type of green cruciferous vegetable, vegetables are gonna be a great choice to have with your protein in the morning. This is what's gonna allow the body to stay in a fat burning environment. Pre-workout, what you wanna do here is if you want energy before the workout, I personally like working out in a fasted state because again, it kicks up my sympathetic nervous system and it helps my body release the hormones that can help me stay lean and burn more belly fat. However, if you are a person that needs energy before a workout, go ahead and have protein plus a fruit. This will give you the energy you need. However, if you can tolerate exercising for 12 minutes at a specific intensity level, using specific rest periods and specific movement patterns that I'm gonna show you inside of our system, what can end up happening is you can release more of the hormones that will help you burn belly fat uh, I recommend about two to three hours before exercise. This will allow insulin to stabilize after the meal so that when you head into the exercise session, the body is more likely to access fat as a fuel source. So protein or oil or protein and veggies, again, is fine. Post-workout, this is where we want to go back to this rule number five, eating your largest carb serving of the day after exercise. You just don't want to eat it by itself, like I said. So what you want to do is you can have a protein and starch or a protein and fruit. Now, if your goal is to gain muscle while you're losing belly fat, 
You can go ahead and have a protein and a starch with a side of fruit, so you could do almost a double serving of carbs. Remember, that post-workout window, your body is less likely to store those carbohydrates as fat because the muscles have been depleted of glycogen and they want to replenish that glycogen into muscle and liver tissue. Also, post-workout, you could do just a plain old protein and a fruit. So you could do a protein shake and throw some frozen fruit in there. Evenings, again, just keep in mind, you want to follow rule number two. Try not to eat two hours before bed, about four or five days of the week to help optimize those hormones. But in the evening, you want to stick with the protein source and maybe some oil. So you could do maybe like a protein shake with some raw nut butter. You could do a protein and a veggie. So you could use a cage-free chicken breast with a pile of green veggies and a big salad. So this, this way, again, you're minimizing the insulin spike to keep your body in a fat burning environment. Now again, make sure that you grab your copy of this. I'm gonna post the image below after this video. And again, if you're sitting here watching this, please like this, please share this, and please leave a comment below and let us know where you're from if you're getting some value here. Hopefully, I'm teaching you a very simple way that you can keep your body in a fat-burning environment. So, let's talk about the exercises to avoid if you're over 35 years old. So, if you're in your 40s, 50s, or 60s, the hormonal condition of the body is much different than people under 35 years old. So, you have to be strategic about your exercise selection. And that's one of the reasons we we developed the over 40 app solution and the 12 minute metabolic movement pattern that's specifically designed for your age, cord age category and your current hormonal condition. So the first exercise that you want to avoid is too much cardio. And I'll post the research again above this video on this. I'm not saying cardio can't be effective for weight loss, but most people abuse it and they do too much of it. So there's a strategic time that you should do your cardio. And I share that with you inside of our system. But people who do too much cardio, there's four studies. The first one shows it suppresses the thyroid gland. So it inhibits T4 to T3 production. And the thyroid is the master gland of the metabolism. The second study shows that it increases hunger levels. So those who do too much cardio actually eat 100 more calories after exercise. So making it almost impossible to keep the body in a fat burning environment. The third study shows that it can release free radicals. These are the free radicals that have been linked to many of today's modern health challenges. And then the fourth study shows that chronic marathon runners and triathletes actually have up to a six to seven times greater risk for having a heart attack because of the excessive amounts of cardio causing heart scarring. Now, again, I'm not demonizing cardio or saying you shouldn't do cardio. I'm just saying you shouldn't do excessive amounts of it. And I think you just need to understand when to do it. That's the most important part. And I show you exactly how to do that inside of our system. The second exercise to avoid is crunches and sit-ups. Dr. Stuart McGill is one of the world's renowned back experts. And he has done research showing that repeated spinal flexion, which happens during crunches and sit-ups, are one of the leading causes of herniated discs. And then Men's Health published a study that it takes 22,000 crunches to burn one measly pound of belly fat. So your time and energy is much better off spending, spent using the 12 minute metabolic movement pattern I'm gonna introduce you to inside the link around this video. Uh, the third and final exercise to avoid if you're over 35 years old is today's most popular DVD workouts. So things like P90X, Insanity and CrossFit, these are effective. I mean, you can just look at the people who do these workouts and they look amazing, but it's designed for people who are under 35 years old. And if you're over 35 years old, I recommend that you move differently based on your current hormonal condition. And that's why I want to introduce you to the over 40 app solution. So inside the, the app solution, when you see it, the link around this video, you're going to see a success tracker. And I want you to start there because it's going to cover all this stuff in detail for you to put together a plan and it's going to give you follow along workout charts where you know how to use the exact movement patterns, the exact rest periods, and the exact intensity levels that will help you reactivate declining hormones. And I also want to talk about uh, our partnership with Living Water. So we're big on giving back. Now before I talk about that, I just want to let you know that how passionate I am about this stuff because I know that when this stuff is implemented and you exercise and you eat right consistently, you don't have to be perfect, you just have to be consistent. There's no such thing as perfection when it comes to diet and exercise. But I can guarantee you and promise you this, 
If you implement the strategies that I'm sharing in this video, it will leak over in a positive way to every other area of your life. I know when I do this stuff, I am a better father. I am a better husband. I'm a better grandfather. I'm better at my career. I'm better at everything that I do. So this isn't just about losing belly fat and looking your best. It's about a complete life transformation. So now let's talk about my partnership with Living Water. So a couple years ago, my business partner Ryan and I made a leap and we started going down to Nicaragua on mission trips. And we did, we've done it three years in a row now. And we're so passionate about helping these people we donated almost $30,000 and we had four water wells installed across the globe with Living Water International. So by being a part of our community and grabbing our Over 40 Absolution system that you'll find at the link around this video, you can be part of this amazing cause. Now, if you have questions, please post them below. We'll do our best to answer them. Make sure you click the like button. Make sure you share this. Make sure you drop a comment and let us know your name. And I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to watch this video. Keep going strong.